Hey everyone, and welcome to the FCFD. I'm David Johnson, and today I'm going to be discussing how to make an image in Final Cut look as if it's coming into focus. Now, there are actually a few ways of doing this, but I want to introduce the opacity of layers in this tutorial as well. So at the end of the first one, I'm going to do it again, but this time without opacity. So to do this effect, open your sequence and bring the video track you want to work with down into your timeline. From here, let's duplicate your video by copying the track with Command C. I'm just going to drag my video up and paste the copy below. From here, we want to get the Gaussian blur effect. It can be found in the browser window in the effects tab, video filters, blur, and Gaussian blur. Just drag this effect down over the top of your video track in the sequence. In this case, it's track two. Now let's increase the blur by double clicking on our video track to bring it into the viewer. Head over to the filters tab in this window to increase the radius and make it look a little bit out of focus. Now please note you can also decide what you want the layer of the blur to affect by using the channel option. But we're going to keep it simple and on alpha RGB so that it blurs everything. Now head back down to your timeline and grab the pen tool. If you're wondering the shortcut, simply push P on your keyboard. Bring up your audio and opacity controls by clicking the mountain button at the bottom of your timeline. And now using this pen tool, find the black bar on the very top of your video track that will contain the Gaussian blur. Mark one point at the very beginning, one in the middle, and one where you want it to end. And just drag these points down linearly to make your top track with the blur slowly become opaque. Now if you play the video track through, our canvas now looks like this track slowly comes into focus. And that's it for the first way to do this effect. How about we take away using two tracks and learn how to do it with just one. So let's delete both tracks and head back over to your assets window in the browser again. Drag your video back down into the timeline and place it on track one. Now head back over to the effects tab and grab the Gaussian blur effect. Also drag it back onto your video track. Double click the video track to bring it into the viewer and go to the filters tab. Here where we can select the radius, we also notice a diamond next to it. This represents yet again the keyframe button. Now adjust the radius to where you want it to start and add a keyframe at the beginning by clicking the keyframe button. Slide through the video on top or hit the spacebar to play and add another keyframe a few seconds in. Drag down the second keyframe and we can see the line begin to slope downward and the blur disappear. Adjust it how you want it and then take a look at your footage. And that there is how you make a video track go in or out of focus. Joining me on this FCFT, if you'd like to suggest a topic, please do. And until next time.